Welcome to the Work, Wealth, and Travel podcast. I'm your host, Nicole, and this podcast is your guide to start creating a lifestyle by design. From entrepreneurship, money and finance, taxes and residencies, and everything in between, this show highlights the nuances of a true global citizen lifestyle. Let's dive in. You hear a lot about the trifecta method. Well, that does work for some, but for myself, I prefer to travel full-time for both business and personal while experiencing new cities and cultures. And of course, within this comes both the lifestyle, but also the tax optimization perspective of traveling full-time and building up a strategic bases where I may spend one month or I may spend six months in per year. So in today's video, we're going to dive into what some of these very lucrative residency options look like in 2024, how we've seen them change not only in the last year, but even the last few months, and how you can get in on them today before they're gone. In 2024, we see residency programs, citizenship options, and most certainly banking only becoming increasingly more difficult with our clients and for global citizens who are looking to diversify in general. Now, here is my method for assessing where I am going to live, both from a lifestyle and a tax perspective. So let's dive into what some of these options are that I see being more lucrative and which ones for me are a yes, but also which ones are a no in terms of lifestyle. So let's start with the proverbial big dog, which is Latin America. Now, Latin America in the past has wielded some less interesting options for global citizens, but with pricing and processes becoming increasingly higher and more stringent in the EU, we see a lot of our clients looking into different Latin American options and looking to diversify across Latin America, not only holding residencies, citizenships, bank accounts, and companies in one country, but spread throughout various countries in LATAM. I myself have been living in Latin America for the last two and a half years, both for business and for personal, and have visited most of the countries in LATAM. So here are the details. Now, the first country that is quite lucrative for global citizens is Colombia. Between the popular expat and nomad hubs of Bogota, Medellin, and of course, Cartagena, Bogota took the cake for me in terms of lifestyle. It has much cooler weather, which for me is a preference, and Medellin was just not the eternal spring that I had been promised. The relaxed neighborhoods and very tranquil quality of life in Chaparino and surrounding neighborhoods in Bogota was my perfect pace and where I really enjoyed hanging out when I was in Bogota. Now, this may not be the case for everyone. It very much so depends on the lifestyle that you have and your priorities. Do you want to be surrounded in the downtown with the hustle and bustle of hostels and bars? Or are you looking for a more upper class experience with fine dining and wine tasting? Then certain areas of Bogota are going to be of more interest to you. Now, Medellin is a excellent expat hub for entrepreneurs, business owners, and just partiers alike. However, the party scene that takes place in most of the foreigner-friendly areas of Medellin was just not my vibe. Therefore, I much so preferred Bogota to Medellin. However, Medellin is a very interesting market, especially if you are looking to buy or rent out to tenants. And we're going to dive into what that looks like in just one second. The other major city for global citizens in Colombia is Cartagena. And while Cartagena is a beach favorite for many, Due to its island vibes and high humidity and hot weather, again, it just was not the place for me. This is a perfect example of what I mean when you're truly looking to build out your global citizen lifestyle. You want to visit not only one or two cities in a country that may potentially be your next hub, but you really want to understand a lot of the hot spots and hot cities that you hear spoken about from other global citizens and nomads and see which resonates the most with you. Now, in terms of residency, to obtain residency in Colombia, there is no rentista visa. You are going to have to go direct to a real estate investment. You're looking at this year 
around 120,000 US dollars. And keep in mind, this amount does increase every year as it is pegged to the Colombian minimum wage. Of course, with residency, you can work your way towards citizenship. You need to spend some time on the ground, and it does take around 10 years. Factor in a bit of time for bureaucracy. But of course, if you have the right legal team to help you with the local citizenship process, then your wait times in terms of obtaining that citizenship can look much closer to 10 years. The next option I'm going to discuss here for me is much, much more of a lifestyle perspective than a tax optimization perspective, and that is Peru. Now, Peru was one of the countries that I easily enjoyed the most throughout my time in LATAM, and I know that I will constantly be coming back to Lima and to visit the various other beautiful, some popular, some much less popular cities of Peru. Peru has the best, in my perspective, of everything. The best food, the kindest people, great beaches if you're in the right location. It has rainforest, it has the Amazon, it has deserts like Huacachina, absolutely stunning views, an oasis right in the middle of the desert. And of course, it has Machu Picchu. If you, if you are looking for outdoor adventures or cafes in the city, then Peru has you covered. Now, Peru is much more of a lifestyle option for myself and for many other global citizens. There is no investment option in terms of property. However, there is a business investment option and there is the rentista visa option. However, if you don't qualify for the rentista visa, we have various of our clients pursuing alternative options, which we can absolutely help with in order to gain residency leading to citizenship. Now, the citizenship takes around three to four years on average in order to obtain citizenship. Of course, there are various factors within this, but please book a call below and become a client if you are interested in learning more about residency in Peru or residency in Latin America or otherwise in general. Let's move on to the next option. So next we have Argentina. Now, Argentina is another heavy hitter with lots of interest. In Argentina, due again to the relatively quick passport and citizenship speeds. Now, again, you are looking at around three to four years, and this is extremely dependent on your case and you as an individual. So please note that these times can very much so vary, but feel free to watch the video above if you are interested in learning more about residency options in Argentina. I go through all of the potential ways that you can qualify for residency in Argentina. Similar to Peru, Argentina does not have an investment option when it comes to real estate. There is a business company formation option, which we can help assist with along with the rentista, the pensionado visa, and various other options where you can obtain residency in Argentina. Now, if you are looking to gain residency, but you may not have passive income in order to qualify for residency in Argentina, we do have an alternative option of a hedge fund setup where you will get the money back from the fund at the end of your time period in order to qualify for residency in Argentina. So if you are interested in this alternative investment option that can qualify you for the rentista visa and for that passive income, even if you may not be making passive income currently, then become a client, reach out to us below and book a call. This option is starting at around $25,000 and again, you will get this investment back after the period of time has been completed where you gain residency and citizenship in Argentina. But remember, not all of these options are only for tax optimization to get an additional residency citizenship. A lot of them are for lifestyle as well. And you want to have a perfect match of countries in your back pocket where you hold residency or citizenship, but also countries that are purely from a lifestyle point of view and simply enjoying that country, the food, the culture, the language, and wanting to spend time there because of that. Next up, we have Paraguay. And Paraguay, again, is a great tax optimization option. However, it's also a great lifestyle play if you are interested in a quieter, more relaxed pace of life. Asuncion in Paraguay or one of the other major cities in Paraguay may be for you. Paraguay has a good expat community with nationals from all over the world, both employees and entrepreneurs alike. 
Now, residency is available in four to five months time with the potential to gain a tax ID, meaning that you can have tax residency in a country without physically living there. And this is the same with Panama as it is another territorial tax system. However, most countries are not going to give you this option. So I recommend get on Paraguay, get on Panama while they are still available. If you've been in this space for a while, You probably know that just a few short years back, Panama had an option for residency with a 5,000 USD bank deposit, among other small criteria. That option is now gone. You need a $300,000 real estate investment, or of course, the company formation, which I previously spoke about, that we can absolutely help with if you're looking for residence. So these options change all the time. Get on them while they're still available. Going back to Paraguay. Now, you can obtain residency and or tax residency quite easily without being in Paraguay physically. There's almost no day requirement every single year. However, if you are a tax resident, if you have that tax ID in Paraguay, you will be required to file monthly accounting. Even if you have no movement, you still need to file zero. So our accountant can assist with that or any other accounting company formation or law needs needed within Paraguay. Our last option in Latin America that we're going to touch on today, which is by no means the last lucrative option in Latin America. There are countless other options here that have not been touched on. But the last one I'm going to talk about today is Nicaragua. Now, Nicaragua has the lowest real estate investment currently in all of Latin America. And like we mentioned to clients, these programs can change. So you're looking at around 35,000 USD in a real estate investment in order to qualify for permanent residence. What a great deal. How long will this be on the table for? We're unsure. But within two to three years time, you can qualify for citizenship. But of course, you must spend some time in the country in order to qualify for citizenship. But in Nicaragua, you're only going to be looking at a minimum of one to two months per year to qualify for obtaining citizenship. If that is not a straightforward investment residency leading to citizenship option, I don't know what is. If any of the above options are of interest to you or you're interested in learning about some other options that we have not spoken about specific to your situation, book a call with us below and let's get your best options assessed and get these processes underway for you immediately. So of course, we've talked a lot about Latin America, but there are still beneficial residency leading to citizenship programs in Europe. In Europe, we saw many program changes in 2023 and in 2024, and this is only expected to continue these changes in the system, in the programs, programs becoming more difficult to obtain, and the minimums becoming higher. The first option I'm going to touch on in Europe is, of course, Portugal, which rolled out a large change in their golden visa program recently. So while the real estate option is no longer available, which is a trend that we are seeing more and more in Europe, you can still invest a minimum of 500000 into a fund within Portugal. This fund will give you a 3% return annually and the ability to get your funds back once the program has ended once you have completed the mandatory five years of residency in Portugal, and then you will be eligible for the citizenship. The best part, of course, of this golden visa program is that you only need to spend a minimum of seven days per year in Portugal to qualify. Of course, you can spend much longer if you would like. However, the minimum is seven days each year. Now, the next option we're going to dive into is Malta. So Malta is another very interesting option for citizenship. And I did make a previous video, which is linked above on the different ways that you can qualify, not only for residency, but also for citizenship in the beautiful sunny island of Malta. So you can check out that video, but essentially you either have to rent or purchase a property in order to obtain residency or citizenship. You're looking starting at around 600,000 euros for citizenship. And the residency option starts at around 300,000 euros with the purchase of a property. Of course, you can rent a property as well and still qualify for the residency. So, of course, we've seen many changes within these golden visa, residency, and citizenship programs in 2024. 
And Greece is now set to increase the minimum for real estate investment in their golden visa program to 400,000 euros, which is a significant increase. And that's going to go up to 800,000 euros in some more popular, more desired tourist area. Along a similar line, Spain has completely abolished their golden visa citizenship program, which started at 500,000 euros. And this is due to providing more affordable housing for locals instead of the foreigners coming buying the homes at a steep price that is just unsustainable for locals. We've dove into many different programs today. However, this is absolutely not all of them. Whether you're looking at Asia, which we didn't even get to, Europe, or Latin America, we can help. Click below to become a client and we will create a customized plan based on your lifestyle and on the diversification options that you are personally seeking. Don't forget to click below learn more, follow us on all of our socials, which are linked below, and click the video on the screen here if you're interested in getting your residency journey started today. You've just listened to the Work, Wealth, and Travel podcast. If anything from this episode resonated with you, I would appreciate if you share this podcast on your socials. And of course, be sure to tag me. And don't forget to leave a review on your favorite podcast platform. Thank you for joining me on this global citizen journey, and I'll see you in the next episode.